Okay, we're going on with this DIY here. I've had this little trailer in my Christmas collection for quite some time. And I just got to where I didn't want to use it anymore. So I'm going to go in with the color of candy pink. I love this color. It took probably two coats of paint to give it to cover all of the red. So here you see that I've just got it taped off with some painter's tape and I'm going in with the color of mocha along the green part. Just the strip in the middle. Okay, we got that part finished. And I went around the windows with the pink as well. And that I had a lot of touch-ups that I had to do, guys. Because painting on this metal was not a, a very easy task. And right here, I'm just going in again with the mocha color to cover, to cover the door. I'm going in with Waverly chalk paint in the color white. I'm just giving this a good touch up here. It needed it. Like I said, it's been in and out of storage for several years. And I have these skewers. And I painted them with bright yellow. And I'm going to use that sort of like a little trimming to go on this trailer. And I'll be using two pieces. This was like, this was such an awesome project to work. I love working with little miniature things like this. And I'm adding my second piece here. Okay, and today I'm participating in the Sweet Summer Days. This is hosted by Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY, Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun, and the co-host is Crafty Hands by Chantelle. I have left all of their channel links as well as the playlist link in the description box below. I ask if you're fin when you're finished with my video that you run over and check out everyone in the playlist as you will not be disappointed. And yeah, please go check them all out. Okay, now on to the next step. I tab these little pill and stick gems from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just using a little dabber, dauber, and I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color of white, and I'm just going to paint them while they're still on the paper. Just go, I'm going to cover every. It's going to take every single one of them to go around this. And here I am. I'm just going to pull some of them off and start placing them down on the brown strip. And these, like I said, these are so fun to work with, you know, to, to recreate them. I guess to remake them over again and just add whatever touch you want to. And you can always pick these up at garage sales, Goodwill, different places. And here I'm showing you I got the white part finished. And then what I'm going to be doing now is... What am I doing now? Okay. I have some... You can see where I added some touches of orange with the puffy paint. Because I thought it, it needed to, you know, to break up some of the color here. Here I have just the ends of some little popsicle sticks, and I'm going to glue them side by side. And then here I have a jumbo popsicle stick, and I'm just making a little counter, you know, where you can walk up to it and, and place your order. That was painted in the color of... Oh my goodness, what's it called? <laughs> I'm lost for word. Pink. First, we're going to do the awning. Okay. This is the bright pink. I'm going to paint every other one pink. And every other one in the color of mocha. These, This here is one of these kind of projects where you could just go on and on and on for days if you don't stop yourself. 
you know, with the little embellishments and things. It's really, really fun. Now I'm gluing on the little counter, just using a little bit of hot glue and holding it in place. Next, we're going to go on with the little awning over the top. You can see here, I put it in the wrong place. I had to take it off and recenter it again. Okay, what I have here, this is going to be the sign. And I'm going in with that candy pink. I'm just trying to make a little edging here for it. And I had to go in and, you know, straighten up the lines a little bit. Okay, and this is called the Pink Flamingo. That's going to be the name of this little establishment here. And what I'm doing here is I'm using these popsicle sticks so I can write a straight line here. And I moved it over to the other side. Okay. And I just, here in a second, I'm just going to go for it. I am writing shaved ice on this side. And soft drinks on the other side. Here I am. I'm going to show you how I'm going to make the, making the little cups for the shaved ice. This is just the air dry clay I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I'm just rolling it sort of like a burrito and just shaping it out. And I have to trim off quite a lot at the bottom and just making it look like just a little cup. Just rounding it up here. And now I'm going to go in with the color white Waverly chalk paint. I will paint, be painting all of them in white at first. And then I go in and add a little bit of extra color along the way. They were kind of hard to hold on to for a second there. I painted the inside as well. It took about four hours, well, probably longer than that for them to dry. And what I'm doing here is I'm showing you how I'm getting this shaved ice look. I took the top of a chalk paint marker and I ran it down into a styrofoam ball. And here I am just trimming it off and trying to round it off here as much as I can to get it to fit down in there. And then once I get them all in there, I, I glue them all in, and then I go in and I paint them. You can see here I painted this, this one with blue. We got this one painted with pink. My little grand granddaughter was so adorable today. She came in, into the craft room and she said, Oh, those are cupcakes. I said, no, they're supposed to be shaved ice. Well, she was so sweet. Okay, and over there, I got these little bottles of cola or soda, soft drink, however you want to say it, from the Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to be placing them on this side of the sign. I've been wanting to do this project for quite a while. Well, ever since the spring, I've been thinking about doing it. And I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. And the little sign is finished. Now what I have here, I went in and I painted a little wood round. I lost a little footage with the, the candy pink, and there is a little gazebo that I threw together using two square pieces, the wood plank pieces from the Dollar Tree, 
And what I'm doing here is I'm just going in and I'm placing that, well, it's a table. And I use two little squares and I put them together for the bottom of the table to hold it up. And here, I'm. what I'm gonna do here is I'm attempting to make some seats and they were actually too tall so I had to break them apart and I just put one on each side of the little table. Something tells me, you know, that I've got my video backwards because some of my clips is not in the right order, but you guys are getting the gist of what I'm doing here. And uh, on the little gazebo, like I said, it's just two white plank boards. And I have those decorative straws holding it up on all four corners. And it worked out really well. Here I am, I'm going in and just adding a couple bottles of, of soda on the table. You know, so many people have different ways of saying it. You know, it's either pop or it's soda or soft drinks or whatever. And I added a little bouquet of flowers to the middle of the table. And here I am. I thought, okay, I needed to change it up just a little. So I'm going in with some orange, some bright orange. And I'm just painting the top of this little gazebo. It only took one coat of paint for this. Like I said, I was just trying to break up some of the color and, and add, you know, a, something different to it. Now here, I'm going to make some steps for the front of the little trailer. Because it was just like, you know, kind of empty looking. So I'm just taking the mini... The mini Jango blocks and I'm stacking them on top of each other and I believe it took six total and then my next step is I'm going to be going in and painting them I'm going to paint it in the bright orange and then the candy pink every other one will be pink and then the other ones will be in the orange If you all have made it with me this far, I want to thank you for watching my video today. If you've not yet become a member of my YouTube family, I would love to have you. Also, remember, if you don't mind to give me a thumbs up, it helps my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me that much more. Okay, right here I made went in with the clay and I made some little flower pots and painted them orange. And I got these really cute little bushes that I purchased from Amazon. Or I should say my husband got them for me. He's always giving me little embellishments 